Hello everyone. In this video, I want to talk about the backstage view. So you have right in here this blue area is called the uh, quick access toolbar. Then the next area is called your those are your tabs. Okay. So it, it's also called a ribbon. Okay. And so within each tab you have sub uh, menus right like for instance fonts paragraphs they call them groups so they're all grouped into editing voice editor some of them have this little things that will uh, that will open up another window okay so this is what happens when you click on these things now there's another one that I haven't talked about yet it, it, this one the file when you click on this one it opens the backstage view okay, this is the backstage view and on each one of these areas it will open up different uh, you know it'll allow you to do different things okay so let, let's and then to get back to your document all you have to do is click here now <clears throat> if you want to save a document there's a, a lot of ways that you can do it the the way that I see most people doing is they always go here and then they either hit save or save as personally all I do is hit control s now if it's already saved when you hit save or you know control s it saves it exactly where it's at but let me create a new document okay and let me put some random uh, text okay R A N D. I'll say let's say 30 sentences with four a uh, 30 paragraph with four sentences okay so that gave me a bunch of pages right um, now so if I hit file save what what it's gonna do I already have it pre-selected to go to my desktop and I'll show you how how to do that because yours if you haven't set this up it's going to go to my documents i believe that's where it's uh it normally goes i haven't reset these things in a long time but it, from my understanding it goes to uh, my uh my documents so if i do it this way you see what it did i have to type something here right so let's let, let's do it a different way if i hit control s for save see it goes in and selects the first part of the of this uh first sentence and a lot of times this is basically what you're talking about and then you know you can just uh delete some of the words or you can even reset whatever you want so you would hit save okay now so from here out Every time you want to save, you either hit Control S or you go File, Save. Now there's going to be some other options that I'm going to show you later. And you see these little things here we talked about. The Quick Access bar, yours more than likely only has like three or four of them right in here. Okay, and that's by default. And I'm going to show you how to add more. So. Uh, now let's say that I wanted to save a copy of this somewhere else other than where I have it. Okay. So to save as you have to go in here and like you right here you see where it says save a copy or well you have you don't have this part yet, but if you click file save as if you hit save as you see it will automatically type the word you know the the name of the document and at this point 
you can go in and browse and move it to a different folder okay wherever you want I'm gonna cancel because I don't want to save it at this point let's say that's where I want I will hit save so I'm just gonna go back to my document and then let's go over some more of this uh, menus here so if you want to create a new document you would go in here and create a new document now my settings are set different than yours and you can go in and save a preference the way you want and that's another uh, another video that I will show you later for right now let me show you what I'm talking about so if I click new and I click new new uh, new document I have it set when I go in here into my insert shapes when you click here and you draw a shape, yours is going to be black with smaller, um, with smaller um, lines. Okay. In addition, so let me uh, let me uh, let me insert some uh, text. I'm just going to say fifty-three. Okay, so. If you notice, my text, uh, this little box here, it's clear. Yours, more than likely, is going to be like this. Like that. So whenever you put it on top, that's what it's going to look like. What I'm trying to get to you is that you can set your preferences let's say that I wanted this document to like right now is Calibri text if I wanted Helvetica there's a way to set it every time you open it up it's gonna have Helvetica or you can create your own styles and 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 have your own styles and we'll t we're gonna talk about oh yeah actually I've already talked to you all about styles so uh, you can create your own styles and open them and save them or every time you create a new document they show up okay so so that's how you create a new a new uh, file right in addition let's say if you hit control N for new it's the same thing as going file so I hit new you see how it created a new document and at this point if I type and I hit Control S or go to the file save. When I click save, it's going to ask me what to name it, and uh, and it's automatically going to save it to my designated area. And I'm going to show you how to change that. Okay, so um, the, I'm not going to save that one. So now the next one is open there's a difference between double clicking on a word document and opening a document so sometimes you're gonna have to hit open and then you would you know browse to through your uh, all your uh, documents and then you can open it this way okay so um, so when you do that uh, let me see open it, it, it gives you more options okay so we're, we're uh, that's all I want to talk about on that okay so now we talked about new open info so when you click on info it, it, it's gonna tell you what what uh, how your machine is set okay so it's also going to let you know what your version history is uh, if you want to merge documents if you want to upload to your cloud if you want to share the document uh, copy the path or open file location okay and then uh, those are your properties right so we talked about save already right we talked about 
save as now here's another one save as a PDF so if you wanted to save this document as a PDF you would click here then it's gonna ask you where you want to go okay so on that part I haven't told it to go to uh, to the desktop I haven't told it hey when you when I tell you to create a, uh, a PDF I want you to save it somewhere I have it set to my documents which you know from there I have a folder where I put everything in and so for right now let's go to the desktop we're gonna hit save and that's gonna save that uh, PDF okay so now now let me go in and um, uh, I'm gonna close that PDF that was the PDF um, there's also another way that you can create a PDF okay if you hit control P you see right in here you're gonna see I have a lot of uh, different kind of printers but you might only have one or two so yeah some of y'all might have 20 different printers but you see right here you might have either Adobe PDF or you might have this other one this Microsoft print to PDF whenever you print to a PDF in this format is gonna it, your files are gonna be uh, bigger and not just that but you're not gonna have loss as far as resolution on your text resolution on your images so this is a way to really capture every part of your document okay so um, that's print or you can print to one of your printers now if you click on share which you could have done uh, there's other places that you can share but if you click here you can share with people you know save to the cloud or email you got different ways of you can send as a uh, Adobe PDFs and uh, send as a internet fax you can send Adobe preview for review or present online and post to uh, blog right okay another thing you can do is you can export you can export create a Adobe PDF create PDF slash XPS document or change the file type so there's ways where you can save a document in different kinds of formats okay so um, so now transform so let's say let's say I had this document and I wanted to transform it into a web page first of all it would probably look different than what I have here because I would have kind of pre-selected different words and things but let me show you what 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 I'm talking about there's a, a few styles here then you can add more styles so I'm just gonna pick uh, uh, this style right here if I click here and I tell it to transform and then you're gonna uh, you can click on don't remind me again but I'm gonna transform it I know this is gonna open up on a different. no I thought it was gonna open up on different uh, monitor because I have a bunch of monitors but now so you see now it looks like a web page right depends on uh, you know how you had it set up you see I just had a bunch of uh, text document then you can go in there and, and, and change the, these things but I just wanted to show you what that uh, what that is just in case you ever wondered what that means so now transform and to close a document you can close the document and it says uh, save your changes either you can say yes or no so uh, so I'm just gonna hit save <clears throat> okay another way you can close your document if you hit your alt f4 
then it closed it. Same thing here, Alt F4. You see how it closed it? Now, um, so um, here, let me, okay, so we have another document here open. So the next thing, if when you click on account, this is your account. It's gonna talk about, uh, you know, your subscription, like right here, belongs to me, hmendoza2008 uh, at gmail.com. Uh, if you wanna update it, if you wanna change up uh, your version, uh, you can update automatically. See, on mine, I don't like that because when I'm in the middle of something, I don't want for the machine to start updating while in the, I'm in the middle of something. I do all my stuff uh, manually. So if I click here, I have the option to update now. See right here, I have it disable updates. Do not update for security. So you have this different options that you can use. Uh, then you have about word, what's new, uh, manage, you know, your settings. So, and how you want it to look like your theme when you open up Word. So here, if you wanted to give feedback, this is where you would give feedbacks. Now, on options, remember we talked about where to save your document? Not just that, but you see right in here, th this quick access toolbar. Let me show you what that thing does. So let me close this for right now. Let me open up a document. Yeah, good. That one has a, a, a lot of uh, um, pa uh, pages, right? So you can customize your quick access bar, for instance. Right now, I'm watching, watching vertical single page document. Let's say if I want two documents side by side, I can click here, see? And this thing here is a designer mode that this has to be inserted. You won't have this because if you go to your home page, you don't have this thing called developer. And to ha put developer here, you're gonna have to go to options and add that in there, okay? So additionally, you, you know, here you can change your, customize your ribbon or uh, also customize your access toolbar. And this is where you can add add ends and uh, let's say if you have your languages, you wanna know, you, you wanna add different languages, this is where you would uh, do it, right? So, <clears throat> down here, you have, you're, you're not gonna have all of this, but you will have this little pull down here, right? If you click on this, these are your normal toolbar access tools that you can add to this here. Now, there are more than that. And they're, you know, they're also called commands. So if you go to more commands, this is your popular commands. So if you look here, there's gonna be the, uh, your popular commands, which is more than what you saw earlier, right? But there's more than that. There are, you can show all commands, okay? Now you have a bunch of them. There are tons and tons and tons of things that you can make, uh, uh, make your typing easier, right? Okay, so I'm gonna hit cancel, but this is where you would add in addition, so, so look, so I'm gonna cancel, 
and you see how, how how I have organized mine. I have, you know, save, uh, save as a copy, and I've put my, um, do, you know, side by side, my single, and then my uh, add. This is add uh, space between. Uh, so I got my spelling and my. Uh, read out loud together you can change these things around by clicking here go to your more commands and I want to get this just to show you I'm gonna push this down and look save as a copy is this one right here I'm gonna move this one down here right by the speak out loud okay so look so you see now it's underneath the read out loud so if I hit OK remember this used to be here now but I, that's not where I want so I'm gonna go to more commands I'm gonna move this up where I want it okay um, and there's a bunch of them there's so many of them there's you, you don't want to put them all down here because it just there's too many of them now I think we're almost done so we talked about feedback yeah so options that's the last thing anyway guys I thought I'd show you this and uh, I think that's it so thank you for watching my video I hope you're a subscriber if you're not become a subscriber because I'm putting additional uh, things about Word not just Word but Excel uh, there's other programs that I, I teach like Exactimate, which is a program we use in the insurance business. So far, this week I've gone in and placed uh, a, a video for each one of these sub subgroups of home. Then, starting today, if I get a chance, I'm going to start on insert, and I'm going to explain what each one of them does. Thank you for watching my video. If you like this, give me a thumbs up and I will see you on the next video.